The following program is a public access production. Comcast is required to provide time on this channel and make it available pursuant to franchise agreements with the communities we serve. Comcast is not affiliated with the following program or the producers of public access programming and is not responsible for the content. The following program does not reflect the opinions of Comcast or its affiliates. Our next guest uh, chamber member is Beth Fahey from Creative Cakes here in Tinley Park, who is the co-owner with her sister Becky. Uh, well, it's nice having you here. Oh, thanks, Joe. Uh, it's good we've to known be here. each other, I, I, I think, since you opened up. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though it may be ahead of the line of questioning, how long has Creative Cakes been here in Tinley Park? Oh well, I didn't cue you for this question, but actually this is our 25th year. We're going into our 25th year. Congratulations. Yeah. And um, now I, that's not to say that I have owned the bakery for 25 years because I'm much younger than that. <laughs> yes, we know that. <laughs> but um, my sister Becky has actually been with Creative Cakes for uh, 21 years now. She started with the company when she was 19 and the former owners, Debbie and Demetrius Polmanakos, um, sold the bakery to us in 2002, so we've been the owner since then. Very good. Yeah. Well, we're glad that they did that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were uh, both of you were a nice addition to the community. Oh, thank you. And uh, well, people compliment uh, the operation. Oh, uh, that's very so nice so. to hear. So, tell me, uh, Beth, what inspired you to go into this type of a business? It's probably the craziest, most circuitous route ever into the bakery world. Um, I actually used to work in the film business. I used to be a camera assistant on um, film and video, so to our crew over here, you know, I kind of know where they're at and have been on the other side of the camera before. Mm -hmm. um, and that was an interesting career that I did for a while, and then I, have, um, then I had kids. So that kind of puts put the kibosh on my film career because you know the film business is crazy the hours are nuts and so I was looking for something else to do and my sister uh, said that this opportunity had come up and my kids were getting into school and all that so it it just timed out perfectly so very good yeah it, it was cir cir circuitous. Circuitous. circuitous yeah it's, that's, that's right. one of those words that you have to Spell in your head before you say it, right? All right. Well, <laughs> it's it's nice to know how people get into certain things. So that that's kind of interesting, yeah. and um, uh, we'll have to talk a little bit more about that yeah. uh, some other time. But uh, the purpose for you being here now is to just inform our viewers about Creative Cakes. Uh, tell us, so if you would, just tell us a little bit about the operation, and then as much as you can about your product. Right. Well, we're a specialty bakery. We've um, we don't do everything. We're not a full line bakery, so we don't have donuts or breads. Okay. It's mostly dessert, uh, not a lot of breakfast items, um, although that might be changing. We are actually thinking about offering um, a different line of products. It hasn't been determined yet, but but by the first of the year, we'll have some, some new news for everyone um, on that front. We do punchkis at, around Fat Tuesday. That's mm -hmm. like really the only donut that we do. But mostly we're known for custom cakes. We do cakes mainly for people's um, special occasions, the, the big milestones in life, 50th anniversaries, first birthdays, things like weddings. I mean, we do tons of weddings, um, I think probably about 400 a year. And we have a really nice... We've enjoyed a really nice reputation um, for our wedding cakes and the custom cakes with the whole cake craze that's been on TV and everything, it's just kind of timed out really nicely for us. Um, so for example, this is a cake that we're doing for the holidays. It's a little present cake. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit nicer than, than things that you might find at the grocery store. Um, but for those special occasions where all the family's getting together, this is something that's really nice. It's affordable. It's um, tasty too. So. No, when well, we'll taste it later. Yeah. Um, but 
now can somebody request a particular type of a uh, of a cake you know there's different well there's chocolate vanilla oh and, yeah oh, I mean, I mean so oh. that's that's what we're all about yeah. it's custom on the outside as well as on the inside okay. so for example this wedding cake could be red velvet with vanilla bean mousse on the bottom tier carrot cake with uh, pineapple mousse in the middle tier and then maybe banana cake with hazelnut mousse on the top so you can be as customized as that you can even mix flavors within the tier itself if you want to and then on cupcakes we do lots and lots of custom cupcakes these are some that we're just doing for the holidays so there's there's a turkey there for Thanksgiving um, and then you know we've obviously got the the holiday assortment this one is eggnog here um, but it's, it's the fly is really interested in the, these well, cupcakes. Well, you know, it's, it's warm, <laughs> and they and and uh, we talked about that earlier. And uh, it's a celebrity fly. It you know, is. So yeah. Well, you know, um, yes. They like sugar. It's so. not. It's not often that they get food here on on, on the set. So. Right. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to have to work something. I, th I think the chamber is going to have to fit the bill for some food. Yeah. Or, but uh, mm -hmm. no, this is this is very uh, very colorful and uh, thanks. And and can people request certain designs and for for different? Well, let's say for cupcakes. Of course, yeah. I you know um, wedding cupcakes are something that we do a lot of these days. So girls bring in the colors from their wedding. You know pansies you know, sugar pansies or something like that mm -hmm. on every cupcake. So it's, everything is very customized. I can, that's, that's just amazing how you can, you can customize it with, with the colors and, mm -hmm. and, and then naturally to taste. Mm -hmm. um, how, many, how many employees do you actually have there? We have, at this time, we have 21 employees. And most of them have been with us for quite some time. Some of our decorators are, um, they started with us when they were 19 and, you know, have been with us for several years at this point in time. And so it's been nice to see them grow and see their skills. Actually, we have one um, at this air date, I don't know what the results are going to be, but she's competing in the national competition in Las Vegas this year, and she's representing the Chicago area. So our team is highly skilled in their when they're is very. That? Um, uh, well, it will be after this. Um, it'll be prior to this airing, but it's going to be um, October fifth through the ninth. So, oh, so she had it yeah. in, in October. It was right. Done. It okay. was in October. All right. So okay. Yeah. Well, that's kind of exciting. Yeah. You know, um, maybe at some point we can report the results. Yes. You know, just keep us informed. Definitely check the website. We are really big on Facebook. We have lots of fans on Facebook, and we'll be posting the results of that competition. All right. But we always post things about our um, our products and new things that we're doing. Now, you know, one of my typical questions, and I, I almost feel redundant, is who are your ideal customers? And gosh, it's like. Everybody. Well, <laughs> anybody with a birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. that would be pretty much anyone. Or, or, or yeah. um, uh, some significant date of any kind, I yes. imagine. You know, we, we have customers from all walks of life, and that's really neat because we get to see all kinds of people. And, and learning the stories about why they need a cake is probably one of the most interesting things um, because it's always a special occasion. There's always something emotional about the occasion, and, and usually... There's a lot of love and celebration, oh, and yeah. so it's it's always kind of a happy thing. Yeah, you have to be happy eating cake, right? Yeah, right. I mean, or cupcakes. Right. Um, well, we have about a minute, a minute and a half left in this segment. So, mm -hmm. um, is there something? Can you cater to people who maybe have certain types of health issues? Well, that is a difficult problem because it, specifically celiac disease which mm -hmm. is um, growing yes. unfortunately yes. Uh, you know obviously we use wheat all the time in the bakery mm -hmm. if you're a celiac unfortunately because of the the very low tolerance for wheat even if we were to you know clean everything to the nth degree we couldn't say that it was gluten-free because it's still prepared in a facility that has gluten in it the only way that would happen is if we could open a separate facility that was gluten-free. We are looking into offering more sugar-free items. As these things become available to bakers um, and that meet our quality of, of standards, then we'll be offering them to our customers. But uh, do look for more healthy choices from us. Sure. Uh, it's not just um, indulgence. It's, it, we will have healthier whole grain 
organic um, things coming down the line. And that's, that's sort of what I was alluding to earlier sure, that, that's coming. Sure. Well, I'm glad that, that we Thanks. mentioned that because I think people need need to be aware of that. Yeah. Well, Beth, it's been really nice having you yeah, with us thank on you the show. So much for I'm glad me. you brought uh, these cupcakes for <laughs> us all. Uh, but, uh, well, you know you can get a hold of uh, Beth or anybody else here on the Chamber uh, website or our phone number. 